Welcome back. Here's a recap on our coolest coaster picks. So far, we've seen how the race for tallest and fastest got started. Magnum and Millennium Force broke all the rules when they shattered records for height and speed. And we duped it out on the dueling wind coasters down south. Guazi Lion and Guazi Tiger are two of the wildest rides around. And now that we've mastered the art of roller coaster physics on the Montu, it's time to move on to a new dimension. Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California is home to an amazing four coolest coaster picks. Six Flags Magic Mountain is different from other parks in that it has the most coasters anywhere in the world. And we provide a very diverse coaster selection, uh, ranging anything from the tallest coaster to suspended coasters, traditional wooden coasters. And we are the one and only extreme park in the world. I love the rides because they always have something new coming out and the park's just exciting. You, you never know what to expect with Six Flags. Here, bigger and better is an understatement. According to many coaster enthusiasts, Magic Mountain is winning the big ride battle by constantly pushing the envelope of new and exciting rides. We start with X, king of the biggest extreme theme park on the planet. X is a one of an extreme ride. It literally adds a whole new dimension to roller coasters, a so-called fourth dimension, tilting riders face down during a 200-foot drop that feels like skydiving. The first fourth dimension coaster, one which tumbles riders forwards and backwards as you go through the layout. Before X was installed, it went through rigorous planning, as seen in this 3D rendering. actually sit on the side of the track and as you're going around your train is actually spinning as well. Theme park expert Paul Rubin was more than happy to take a ride on America's coolest extreme coaster. Paul has been on almost 700 roller coasters in his life but he could barely contain his excitement before riding X. But we're about to go down a 200 foot drop straight down face first. Uh, roller coasting doesn't get any better. Whoa! 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 fans on the edge of their seat. The fact that you don't know where you're going to go, that you just get to the top and you don't know where you're going to go and then all of a sudden you're facing straight at the ground. It's just so awesome. I've actually been skydiving before and I have to say that going on X was a little more scary and a little more of a rush than it was skydiving. <laughs> Enthusiastic reactions like these are not uncommon. X turns a regular theme park into an extreme park. Our guests thoroughly enjoy our rides. They come here seeking cutting edge thrill rides and they really enjoy them. They come out of the exit screaming and jumping around and frequently running back into the line. Our next pick gets two thumbs up for giving riders double the fun. Deja Vu is the tallest and fastest coaster of its kind. But we consider Deja Vu one of America's coolest coasters because riders experience this ride twice. First forward and then backward.
to mention the Colossus. It's our old-fashioned favorite. At 125 feet, it's the tallest wooden coaster west of the Rockies. The Colossus big? You betcha. This ride is almost a mile long and crisscrosses over 10 acres of land. The Colossus serves up big thrills to even the most experienced coaster fan. And who could ignore the Goliath, a coaster that truly lives up to its name. Well, behind us we have Goliath, which is the giant among steel coasters. After a whopping 255 foot drop, hang on while you blast through a tunnel of darkness. to dramatic plunges, the Goliath features wild turns that pull more than four Gs. That means a 150-pound man would feel over 600 pounds of pressure. With four of our favorite picks, Six Flags Magic Mountain definitely gets the coolest coaster seal of approval. Amelia Earhart, the first lady of flight, was so impressed with the roller coaster at the St. Louis State Fair that she tried to build her own. The tracks led from the roof of her shed to the ground, and the car was attached to roller skates. On the first and only ride, Amelia's car swooped down the track, hit the ground, and flipped over.